this is Mike Nelson. I'm the managing broker here at Excalibur Home Management and I get a lot of questions from people regarding landlord-tenant law, including some of our new hires and other property managers around the state. So I thought I would try and answer some of those questions once and then I can refer folks to these videos. One of the questions that we hear a lot is related to the disclosure of ownership. Some landlords would like to try and, in a sense, hide their identity in the lease. Uh, one way to do that is to form a corporation or an LLC to hold title to the property and that works fine for a lot of reasons including liability. However, one of the issues is who are you going to name as the landlord in the lease? And under Georgia law, everything in Georgia law for the landlord tenant is under Title 44 Chapter 7. And under 4473, Georgia law requires that in the lease you disclose the owner of the property or their quote, agent for services. So if you don't name the owner of the property, then you could name the property manager as that agent for services. The challenge with that is if the tenant wants to sue the owner, it may be something related to mold at the property, failure to repair, a deck collapse with people having a party on it, they slipped and fell because a handrail gave way. Any of those sorts of liability issues, the tenant is going to sue the landlord named in the lease. So if you name the property manager as the landlord under that agent for services provision, now the property manager has just become the defendant in that case. So if you're the landlord, you might understand why a property manager is reluctant to do that. If you're a property manager, you might think twice before willing to name yourself as the landlord in the lease. However, in either of those events, if you're the landlord, you want to make sure that the property manager that you hire is a licensed broker because again, there'd be a lot of liability related to using somebody other than a licensed broker. In Georgia, it would be illegal for an unlicensed person that's representing you as an agent to lease and manage your property. And in the same way, a lot of people are surprised to find out that it would be illegal for a real estate agent without their broker's permission and supervision to manage property. So if you're a landlord and you're looking for somebody to manage your property, make sure you're hiring a company that specializes in property management so you get the representation that you're paying for.